In this video, I just wanted to share a quick tip that will help keep your soft plastics in place when you're using them as a trailer on bucktail jigs. This is a Spro bucktail jig that I have here and the trailers that I like to use with these are gulp swimming mullets. They're a curly tail grub. This is the four inch size, either chartreuse or white or even orange works as a really good trailer for these types of jigs. You know, they're great for flounder, black drum, redfish and snook can be a deadly combo for those species. Now, something you're going to find that happens a lot when you're using a trailer is that it will tend to want to slide down the hook. Now, a lot of these uh, jigs will have a hook keeper or a uh, bait keeper rather on the top of the hook near the uh, base of the jig head. But over time, you know, that bait, the head of the bait's gonna get torn up and it's just gonna start sliding down the hook. So you wanna make the most of you know, using one bait so you don't have to switch them out more often than you need to. So the trick is really just to use something to put onto the hook, which I'm gonna show you here. You wanna put it onto the hook after you have put the bait or the lure on there, and that's gonna keep it in place. And I like to use just some silicone tubing uh, some old, very thin silicone tubing that I have laying around. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a small piece of that tubing off the end. Then from there, you now have a small little piece of tubing. You're just going to put the scissors right through the middle of that tubing, cut it lengthwise. So now it is a uh, flat piece, almost looks like a little rubber band there. And you can cut that in half as well. You don't want to make it too small that it won't fit onto uh, the hook point. So if you have a very wide hook, you're gonna wanna use a wider piece of tubing. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna put the trailer on just like you normally would. Slide that trailer up onto the bucktail jig. Get the bucktail out of the way like so. So now that bait's on there nice and secure. And then the next thing you wanna do is top it off with that little piece of rubber. So you're just going to put that rubber onto the hook point and then slide it down so it is snug to the trailer. It's kind of difficult with all this uh, hair in the way here, but hopefully you can see that. You can see the uh, plastic there or the rubber silicone. And I'm just gonna slide that down so it's nice and snug to the bait. And that should help keep it in place, especially uh, you know, when the head of the jig head starts wearing out the head of the bait, you know, that'll keep that bait from sliding down the hook. So that can definitely help out. So now here I've got most of that bucktail out of the way so you can actually see it. You can see the rubber tubing there pushed up nice and securely against the bait, which will help hold it in place. So hopefully this tip will help you out if you do happen to have some issues with your trailers on either your bucktail jigs or even just regular jig heads starting to come off the actual hook or sliding down the hook. Again, just that little piece of rubber can definitely help keep it in place. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I liked your feedback if you have any additional tips you would like to share to help keep those trailers in place when using them on bucktail jigs or jig heads. So definitely let us know down below. Also, if you're interested in catching more fish in less time, and we guarantee that, definitely be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club at saltstrong.com. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.